Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Latte the Bunny. I'm Latte's mom. Today, we are going to talk about how to play with your bunny. While some may assume that bunnies aren't as interactive as dogs or cats, the truth is rabbits are prey animals, requiring a different approach to interaction. When approached correctly, they can be incredibly responsive. There are various ways to interact with them, or you could say play. They can be trained to perform tricks, enjoy snuggles, kisses, pets, or just hanging out with you. I will make a series of videos on how to play with your bunny. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I train my bunny to play with a jumper. So let's get started. <laughs> Step one: Familiarize your bunny. Rabbits can be hesitant about new toys, food, and surrounding, so it's essential to let your bunny to get familiar with new things. Leave the jump bar in their space for a while or even few days. Let them explore it and be curious about it. When they get used to it, then we can go to step two: use irresistible treats. Prepare your bunny's favorite food to entice them to follow you around. I'm using parsley and treats, and sometimes pellets for the training. Just be mindful not overfeed your bunny. A little treat goes a long way. I recommend using a small patch of herbs. This can make it easier to indicate where you want your bunny to go. Step three: Communicate with body languages. Communication is key. Use your body language to convey what you want your bunny to do. I'm using a small patch of parsley to guide her, but be patient while repeating the desired action. Remember, bunnies learn through repetition and positive reinforcement. There's an example when Latte doesn't understand my body language. See if you're not using your body language correctly, your bum bum won't be able to understand and might be very confused. What do you want, human? Give me the treat already. I I don't like you anymore. Bye. This human can talk. Step four: Start low and reward their efforts. Begin with a very low level to boost your bunny's confidence. Reward them with treats and plenty of verbal praise every time they clear a level. It doesn't matter how easy it is. Positive reinforcement builds their trust and encourages them to keep trying. Compliments is more powerful than you thought. Step five. Practice makes improvement and builds up confidence. Now you have to practice, practice, and practice. Just enjoy the moment and play with your bunny. When you feel happy, your bunny will feel happy too. Keep the jump bar level low for like several times just to build up their confidence. Bunnies are like us. If you started to high level in the beginning. They will easily get frustrated or sad, even mad, and think they couldn't do it. Why don't you give me the veggie? I couldn't jump that high. Um, help me, Dad. Can you help me get the veggie? I want the veggie, but I don't want to jump. Ooh, I hate you both. So it is important to build their confidence step by step and let them associate good things with this jump bar. Step six: Celebrate your bun bun's achievements. Enjoy the achievement together as your bunny jumps over the bars. Remember, it's perfectly okay if your bunny can clear all the levels. The most important thing is the bond. And interaction you share, your bunny's health and safety should always be the top priority. Every bunny is unique, and progress may vary. The most important thing is you share a quality time with your bum bum.
nyaman-nyamannya. Thanks for watching till the end. If you want to see more Vines content, remember to subscribe us and on the notification. And we will see you next time. Bye bye.